Hello and welcome back everyone, Tone here, and we're going to pick up where we left off on the enemy trench. And we just completed chapter 2, and we are starting out chapter 3 here, where we need to go and take out someone with a flamethrower to aid our allies. Let's pick up right here where we left off on area level 21. And see how it goes. Definitely got into a bit of a rhythm here. Um, so I'm curious to see more about this game. Um, so we're just going to play through. Uh, at a, I'm going to go through like, like a brisk pace here. Is this a new enemy type? Marksman. Oh, okay, yeah, we just fought the Marksman boss. So these guys have sniper rifles now. And I'm actually using a sniper rifle, which is an aim bonus of three over the aim bonus of two that my previous weapon had, but it's a little less damage. So I don't know how beneficial the aim bonus is, um, but I'm gonna use it for now. I crit them twice in a row, so if the aim bonus is uh, doing something with that, then it sounds pretty solid. This is a new kind of armor. Another marksman. I crit them. I'm three for three on crits. Okay, I just missed one. I didn't miss the shot, but I didn't get a crit. Is this a new type of armor? Helmets Mark One. Go ahead and drop a health pack here to pick up the helmet. Uh, defense three compared to my bulletproof vest, defense one. And it does not give a dex penalty like the gas mask does. Not, not none of my armor does. That sounds like a lot of extra defense. Uh, no crits in those three shots. So I guess it was just a bit of variance there that meant our first three shots with this were uh, all crits. So the marksman dropped an LE 186 with scope. Let's see what that is. I think that's the weapon we started with. It only has shot damage 11, aim bonus 3, has more ammo than my current weapon. So I think I'll stick to my current weapon over one of these, even though the extra ammo is nice. In any situations where I am going to need to reload, so I'm going to need more than 5 shots, I'm probably going to be using some kind of consumable. Um, I think most cases where there's two enemies on screen, I'll be able to kill them in 5 shots unless it's like 2 explosives. Maybe two heavies. Okay, these guys are all using the same weapons. Another heavy. I'm just going to keep using rocks on these guys. I actually don't have a ton of rocks right now, only four, but they are standing right next to one. I think it's meant to be. Pick up that rock. Oh, I still need to reload my MG, apparently. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Cool. I 
heavy and a field medic. Actually, I can probably afford to take out this field medic while the heavy stunned. Reload. Nope, I did not, but thanks to my new helmet, I took no damage from that volley. Wow, six shots, six hits from them, and no, well, they're misses actually, so it's target missed. They hit me twice out of the six and did no damage with those. So our new armor is doing well. See, that is another bulletproof vest on the ground. It's a lot of guys. Let's just throw a grenade out there. Finish off the field medic. There was an explosives. Uh, and back there that we uh, took out or damaged with the grenade and then finished off with our rifle. Throw another grenade there to replenish the one I just used. As we'll use a health pack. Looks like there's lots of enemies around. Probably just a coincidence. There's the exit. I guess we can just take the exit. Trench levels are pretty easy to clear, especially when we have like a nice, whoops. I just melee this guy. I do like no damage to this guy in melee, but they also don't do any damage to me in melee. That's interesting. I think with my armor, the field medic at least is just like harmless in melee range. Maybe that's a tactic I can use. Like with that scout right now, I could have forced him into melee range by moving forward once. And they may be equally harmless. The diggers are the only ones that have a melee weapon. Go ahead and use a grenade on these guys. The marksman is in melee with me. I think that means they won't shoot me. So let's take out the... Okay, they're both in melee range now. Yeah, I'm like immune in melee to all these guys. Grab that grenade. That's a very interesting, especially with now how enemies can chase you. 
while they're out of line of sight, I feel like we could really use that to our advantage, especially if I like grabbed a sword. It'd be fun to do a playthrough of this as like a melee pistol wielding build, even though I don't see why we would ever use a pistol over a rifle in this game. It'd just be fun to do regardless. Oops. There was a heavy there. I'm gonna throw a... Oh, you know what? The heavy can't move. I'm gonna hit him with a grenade. Oh, I killed something. There was a scout back there. Now the heavy's panicked from the grenade. And panic isn't completely reliable, but in that instance, they ended up not attacking me because they were too busy being panicked. Wow, too bad my grenade didn't go back just a tiny bit further. All those enemies there. Oh, I'm panicked. Field medic must have got a crit on me. Whoops. You know what? I want to pick up this sword and stab you with it. Oh no, there's a digger. I didn't even see them. Hey, we leveled up. Hmm. Okay, let's go Composure one more. I think I said I was going to get all my those three stats to 10. Yeah, none of them did damage to me in melee. Pretty cool. Alright, let me put my rifle back on. some health packs oh yeah we didn't see like there was one rock on this whole floor so that update to reduce the generation of rocks uh, is definitely a thing oh wait there's more level over here maybe this is where they're hiding all the rocks Like with that explosives, maybe I should have moved next to him to force him into melee. Uh, we did not use any throwing knives on that level. Down to three rocks. I only have three grenades, but there are a bunch of explosive corpses around. Let's just go fill up on some health packs. Inventory's full. Uh, I should probably drop this sword. I don't think we're actually going to use it that much. Okay, we can get out of here. Oh, you enter an eerie village. This is interesting. I think these are like gates to my left and right. I'm going to go to this door. Duck. Okay, there's mud. I'm guessing if I stay on the green tiles, I'm safe. Mm, 
New level type, very exciting. Scout seems to still be using the same weapons. Oh, I bet you this isn't mud. There's like a walkway here. It's a little hard to tell the difference in the color. What does it look like with tiles? Uh, more distinguishable, but still a little hard to see. I really like the ASCII in this game, so I'm going to stick to this. Um, I'll drop a rifle ammo box here and pick up the rock. This, I assume, is another sword. Rifleman and a marksman. Like a grenade in there. I got crit for 12 damage. Did not get panicked though. I do have 10 composure. I have lots of composure. Grab another grenade. Oh, there's like a big building there on the right. Marksman panicked, taken out, just got crit by the field medic. Did not get panicked myself after that crit. Probably remember the last target you aimed at if uh, they didn't, they weren't killed by the shot. Otherwise, in a situation like that, I have to like keep repositioning the cursor. Uh, let's use a health pack. Nice big heal from that. You grab another rock. All of these guys with a grenade? Heck yeah, I can. Should take out the riflemen. Did that grenade only hit the scout? 
You reload your weapon, select the target. The scout is hit by the explosion, taking 12 damage. Scout is dead. You gain 23 hit points. Then the heavy took a turn. It doesn't say the rifleman or the heavy took any damage from the grenade. Interesting. I was surprised that the rifleman survived it, but even more surprised when they survived a shot on top of that. And that caused me to spend two extra turns attacking the rifleman. Neither the rifleman or heavy got hit by the grenade, so I've been taking hits from them every time. They didn't get panicked at all, including I just got crit by the, the heavy, which did a whopping 15 damage to me. Interesting. It looked like they were in the radius of that grenade. I wonder what happened there. Let's go ahead and use a health pack. I think there was a medic here. Yeah, let me grab their, your health pack. Heavy and a scout. I think I'll use a grenade here. Okay, that time we hit the heavy. I need to look back at what happened on that last one. Did I just not place that grenade where I thought I did? <laughs> Should grab some rifle ammo there because I'm down to my last uh, box. That's in, that must be like a closet. Ah, the exit. Let's get another good grenade position. Okay, where did I leave? A rifle ammo box here. Need to grab some grenades. Heal. Drop a throwing knife to grab another grenade here. All right, so we could leave, but I got to look inside the big house. I wonder if this scoped rifle is just not good and I should be using the higher damaged one. Might swap back for a bit. Like if my time to kill or like turns to kill ends up being one kill, one turn shorter because of like the breakpoints by using this other weapon, that seems like a big advantage. Okay, so the marksman is in melee range. Which makes them effectively useless. Harmless. Marksman is more dangerous here. I'm just meleeing guys in melee now.
<laughs> meleeing guys in melee, of course. I meant meleeing guys in like melee range. Which sounds rather obvious when you say it out loud, but I was shooting guys that were adjacent to me a lot before. Oh, that's a rifle ammo pack. Let's trade that out for a box. Uh, I forgot to reload. That's okay, I'm just gonna move adjacent. There's a rock in there. I actually have a lot of rocks now. Just gonna move adjacent to this guy. Uh, this is a full room. Let's throw a grenade in here. Okay, that time it did hit everyone. Got crit by this heavy again. I sure are dangerous. Use these health packs. Ooh, here's a MG ammo box. I wonder how much ammo's in there. I haven't really been using the MG enough to worry about that. The ton of ammo boxes in here. That was like an ammo supply house. I hope there's no enemies outside the houses. Otherwise, moving like this is quite dangerous. be neat if there were like patrols. Uh, let's huck a grenade in here. Oh boy, I keep forgetting to reload. Another good grenade room. Ooh, double crit by that heavy. 30 damage from them in that one turn. Heal up a bit, replenish my grenades. Grab another ammo box. Looks like another good grenade room. hit as much as the empty space as we can or like the space that's outside of my vision that played out really well Use another grenade in here. I don't know if the red border is included in the damage radius. I'm gonna be careful with that. Oops.
Level up. All right, time to raise our vitality again for the first time in a while. Ooh, that gave me like 60 vitality. I'm always surprised at just how much health that gives us. But now that we're dealing with a lot of, like the heavies can do 45 damage in a turn, potentially. Um, having a big HP pool uh, feels somewhat necessary. It may be not, nece not necessary because I think we've been surviving extremely well. just happened oh I was panicked I was trying to throw a rock at this guy and in that panic this heavy did like 17 damage to me and another crit and a crit also panics I don't know if panic is just a state that you're in for a few turns. It gives you a chance to be panicked based on your composure, but it does kind of feel like if you have multiple panic sources that your chance of being panicked on any turn is higher. Like if I got crit more than once, it feels like I have a higher chance of being panicked. Um, but I don't know if that's just a coincidence or if that's like a real thing that's happening. Uh, regardless, we need to use some health packs here. Oh, recovered 41. That's the most I've seen. Oh, that's a full room. I don't have any grenades either. I didn't come prepared for this. Um, so let's throw a rock. I'm going to throw two rocks here. Try and... Uh, I think I need to, like, throw rocks at these guys again. I'm trying to neutralize these heavies. I think I can afford to shoot. Nope. They shot back. And he crit me. I can become panicked. Throw rocks at both of these guys again. Okay. I need to reload. Panicked. So I wasted a turn. The heavy is no longer confused. Uh, let's use a throwing knife here. Maybe I should have opened with that after the other threats were down. That was a dangerous situation. I, I used a lot of consumables there. Part of it was because I walked in that room unprepared. I think a grenade or two would have really helped to make that a less dangerous situation. It right, looks like we just about full cleared here. Um, let's go ahead and Try and restock our inventory. I'm out of almost everything. Let me heal up. Nice 25 heal there. Another rifle ammo box. Let me drop the one I've been pulling ammo from. This level layout is actually fantastic for throwing knives, so maybe I should have used them more. probably a mistake that I didn't because basically when you open these rooms um, a lot of the times that the enemies are immediately in your throwing range in fact a level layout like this does make strength sound pretty good because you can use strength um, to have a longer range on your throwing knives See, I have, what, three rifle ammo boxes? Carrying four throwing knives. How many rocks do I have? I have three rocks. I should scour this village for rocks. And then fill up the rest with health packs. Might be all of the rocks.
Having a memory of what items on the ground would be really valuable for this stage of like, before going on to the next level. Okay, full inventory. That's probably about as good as we're going to do. Oh, there's another rock. Grab a health pack and grab that. All right, let's get out of here. This is a cool level. I like the, the village. I like the variety of levels in general. All right, you enter an eerie village. So we got another village level here. If there was um, a memory of items on tiles that are out of your line of sight, one thing that this game would need is some way to indicate that when the stairs are under an item. Nice. I was relying on getting a crit there and having them be panicked. Not quite relying, but I was thinking... I had faith in my ability to crit that guy, is what I'll say. We do crit pretty often. should dump like a ton of points into decks now and see if we can like really get our crit rate high. The bulletproof vest, indeed it is. Where's the exit? We can get out of here. I feel like we should explore like a few more rooms. But I don't think we need to full explore the village. I don't think that guy's dead. Oh. Uh, okay, this half of them are diggers, <laughs> which means they're not immediately threatening at all. Um, I'm actually just gonna throw a rock at the heavy. Take out the scout. Whoops. And take out the heavy. The diggers. The big threat of the diggers is they they move closer than the heavy, so I auto target them by accident. Very dangerous thing to happen. Look at all these throwing knives. Um, I want that rock. Explosives and a heavy. Throw a grenade. Heavy is panicked, just as I planned. Grab a fresh grenade. Is that a new weapon? LP pistol. Seven shot damage, eight ammo. Sounds decent for a pistol. Look at this road. I like the the map generation of these villages. It's got a double grenade. Somehow the rifleman is the one that survived that. They must have not gotten hit again. Where did I place that? Is it are the corners not taking damage? Something's going on there.
The grenades being able to one-shot the riflemen is like one of like the main reasons I, I use them when there's stuff like that around. Oops, I just got grenaded. I think I've got composure. Oop, panicked, but not until after all the threats were down. Double grenade room. Whoa, double heavy room. I will double grenade them. Where was the other grenade? Here, the digger died on it. Health pack, 23. Yeah, with higher vitality, I think we're definitely healing higher numbers more often. It's probably either a range based on our max health or directly tied to our vitality, which kind of the same thing. Um, I'll grenade in here. Look at this. Grenades are like the new rocks. See, that didn't hit the marksman. Do your grenades just have a chance to miss? I don't know what's happening. They had seemed pretty reliable previously. All right, we can probably just leave. Let me just get my inventory set. Um, do I actually drop this G98 with the scope? I can't replace it. The marksmen are using worse weapons currently. I think I just like the Carbo 98 for now because it does more damage. I don't know, I'll hold on to it. I'm kind of hoarding. I'm also expecting if I drop this, someone in the comments will be like, oh dude, don't you know the <laughs> the three aim bonus over two is like this massive advantage that I'm currently unaware of. Uh, I have what, five rocks, four grenades, three rifle ammo boxes, one's probably nearly empty. I could just grab like a few health packs. I'd be happy to go to the next level. inventory I guess we can just go with the abundance of grenades we seem to have at this stage of the grenade or <laughs> this stage of the grenade this stage of the game I do feel like full clearing this village is probably pretty efficient with how strong grenades are here and how much XP we can get from stuff but let's just move on to the next level if I weren't um like recording this doing like a let's play style thing like now we're just like kind of chilling playing playing on my own i'd probably like full clear but for the sake of trying to showcase more of the game i think we are going to um, start skipping some of the stuff that's not necessary move forward got another village level here That door sound effect is great. Combined with this, uh, it says eerie village. I, I would describe this background music as eerie. Like, <laughs> it's a it's a very tense, slow like door opening sound. 
And there could be danger on the other side of it. I love it. Okay, this is definitely a grenade room. Okay, we hit everyone there. I'm gonna double grenade actually. Which took everyone out. Except for the field medic that was hiding. I'm gonna charge the field medic. Throw an extra grenade. Grab an extra health pack. Um, yeah, let me... Drop my rifle ammo box and pick up this one. I should probably be opening these doors at angles where I can limit my line of sight because the line of sight is what controls how much aggro I'm pulling essentially and how many hostile enemies there could be when I open a door. I think that would be the like most effective strategy here. Especially if I like know the layout of a, a, a building, if I open this door from here, instead of being right in front of it, I can like really make like control my sight lines to try and not have like a, you know, deal with a heavy. And then even then I can approach these like one at a time. Like that is like the safest way to approach a building here like this is a big one i could open this and there could be like five heavies waiting for me but if i were to do that come back around and control the line of sight here fortunately there's no enemies in there at all and that one is so big that i should probably could have even used the store a bit to my advantage um if the state right now, or like I felt like we were more danger, I'd probably like 100% be doing stuff like that. Seems not quite as necessary, but maybe I'll just do it for kicks for now. There's the exit. See, if I open this from right in front of the doorway, I would have had that rifleman, the field medic, and the digger at line of sight all at the same time. Instead, because of approaching it in a specific way, I was able to fight them one at a time. Now, that doesn't sound that threatening, but if that was like two marksmen and a heavy or something like that, it could be quite dangerous. I should see if everyone has the same gear at the moment. Yeah, you're still using carbon 98s. There is the exit. You can really control your line of sight with these doors. Still somehow managed to pull two enemies. Okay, should we go to the next level? Uh, let's just heal up. Where did I leave health packs behind? Another helmet mark one. What do we got? Three throwing knives, three rifle ammo boxes. Oh, I should replenish one of those. I did leave one on the ground. I thought I saw one recently. And I want to make sure I don't pick up the one that I dropped earlier because that probably even has less ammo in it. Put that in the corner. Mm, was it the one in that room? I don't remember which one I dropped on the ground. 
Maybe I'll just take the ones I have. Okay, full inventory. Four grenades. One, two, three, four, five rocks. Bunch of health packs. Um, I'm going to take another rock or two. I think I do have some on the ground. Somewhere. Maybe not. I will take another grenade though. The grenades are really good in these village levels. All right, let's move on. Trench. So you're walking through a trench, it's kind of like you're always um, revealing tiles slowly. But when you're opening a door into a giant room, um, it's different. It's like if instead of just moving here where I saw this heavy, if I instantly teleported here and there was like six guys behind them. I'll just use a rock here. Oh, there's the downstairs already. We could leave. Let's explore just a little bit though. Oh my gosh. Instantly regretting that. Although now I can move adjacent. Speaking of rooms, this is one of the trench levels that actually has rooms in it. Oh, that was a bad double move. Let's throw a grenade in here. Did I get crit? I feel like we need a panicked indicator on the character screen down here somewhere that says like, if we're at risk of being panicked. So these rooms could be just as dangerous as any of those rooms in the village. Okay, let's see if this hits the scout. I hit nothing but the riflemen. So why did that miss the heavy? Because I placed it here. Hmm. I don't understand how that works really. Unless it is just you have a chance to miss with the grenade, which is probably the case. All right, well, even though I know where the exit is, I do need to explore now just to heal up, restock my two grenades I spent. Is this a field medic? Health pack, yes. 32, nice. Oh, didn't even notice that scout. An ambush. Now, if enemies wandered or reacted to noise and sound, you wouldn't be able to exploit vision like in those villages in quite the same way. Because then you'd open a door, an enemy would see you, and all the other enemies in the room would reposition uh, to get to you. Um, but the game does not work like that currently.
need some grenades. The whole level? It's actually a small level. Surprisingly small. Guess that leaves me with not much opportunity to restock on any gear here. But we also didn't use too much. I threw some grenades, I picked them back up. I might have used a rock and some health packs. Um, we're in pretty good shape overall. Is there another health pack up here? Was one of these a uh, rifleman? No. Alright, let's just head to the next floor then. Another trench. Uh, and we'll call this one here. It looks like we just did five levels. So probably half of this chapter, all the chapters seem to be 10 levels long. Um, but we will leave this here for now then. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Do check out the links in the description below. You can find my Patreon down there if you wanna show some support for me and my work here. You can also find the Discord if you wanna come and hang out with me and the rest of the community. But otherwise, that is it for me for now, and I'll see you guys next time. So take it easy, everyone.